Good morning friends. How are you all? Today I am going to teach multiplication by expanded notation. Okay. So before starting this topic, just discuss about expanded notation. What do you mean by expanded notation? I already have described in chapter number 1 and 2. Okay. So expanded notation means we have to break the numbers by different places. Okay. Means we will do the multiplication by breaking the number into different places. Okay. By their place value. We will do the multiplication by the place value. Okay. Like here I have taken two digit number and we are going to multiply this two digit number by one digit number. Okay. This two digit number is of ones and tens place. Okay. And this one digit number is only having ones place. Okay. Now what we have to do? We cannot break this number because this is only one digit number. Now we can break this number. 55. How? By the places. Okay. Like 55 can be written as how many tens are there in 55? 5 tens. 5 tens is equal to 50. So the place value of this 5 is 50. Okay. Plus 5. 50 plus 5? 55. So here we have break this number by their place values. Okay. Now after breaking the number we have to multiply this number by this number. Okay. So what we have to do? First we have to multiply this 3 number with 50 and after that we have to multiply this 3 with 5. Okay. So to do that multiplication we have to make a table. Okay. Like this. 4 square are there. First I am just going to write this 50 plus 5 on top. Okay. Here in this box. Above this box I am writing the first number that is 50. And above this box I am just going to write the another number that is 5. Okay. Now this 3 number we have to write at this place. Okay. Now what we have to do? First we have to multiply 50 with, with 3 number. Okay. Then what we will write? 50 multiply by 3. Okay. Similarly like this we also have to multiply this 5 number by 3 number. Okay. So we will write here 5 multiply by 3. Okay. Up to this it is clear how we have to arrange the numbers for the expanded multiplication. Okay. After that what we have to do? Now we have to multiply this number and we have to write the answer in this column. Okay. So in earlier video I already have doubt that if you will see 0 at 1's position. Okay. Then no need to multiply the 0. We will just put this 0 after multiplication. Okay. So we are just going to multiply this 3 by 5. 3 5 are 15. Okay. 15 and after 15 we have to put this 0. Okay. Now here also 3 5 are 15. Okay. So the multiplication is done. But as you can see. If we will add these numbers 50 plus 5 then it will become 55. So similarly like that we also have to add both of these numbers that we have got after the multiplication to get the product. Okay. So now we are just adding 150 plus 15. 150 plus 15. Okay. 5 plus 0 5. 1 plus 5, 6. And after that we have to write this one as it is. Okay. So the answer that we got after the addition is 165. So here we will write 165. This is the product after multiplication of these two factors. Okay. 
you can also uh, examine that it is right or not by 55 multiply by 3 3 5 the 15 this 5 we will write here and this one will be carried forward to this place 3 5 the 15 plus 1 16 65 so here also we got the same result so like this you have to do the multiplication by expanded notation okay first we have to break the numbers then after multiplication of these two numbers the number that we have got we have to just add these numbers to get the product so hopefully this uh, topic is very much clear to you just pause this video and write this example on your maths notebook now we will learn to multiply two digits number by two digit number by expanded notation okay here both the factors are of two digits so we have to break this number also and this number also so how we will break this 56 5 the place value of this 5 is 50 plus 6 place value of this 6 is 6 and if we will break this 23 into the, their place values the place value of this 2 is 20 plus place value of 3 is 3. Okay. So now we have to arrange the numbers. Here we will write 50 and here we will write 6. Okay. And this 20 we will write here and this 3 we will write here. Okay. Now we have to multiply this number with this number. First, we are just going to arrange the numbers. Okay. 50 multiply by 20. Okay. And this number also we have to multiply by this number. Okay. So, 6 multiply by 20. Okay. In this place, we will write the answer of this. In this place, we will write the answer of this. Now, here what we have to do? After multiplication this number, we also have to multiply this number by this number. Okay. So, here we will write 50 multiply by 3. And here we have to multiply this 6 number with 3 number. So, 6 multiply by 3. So, now the numbers are arranged. According to that, we have to now only multiply. So, as you can see, the both numbers at once position, 0 is there. Okay. So, just we are just going to multiply these two numbers. Okay. 5 to the 10. ten. And after that, how many zeros are there? Two zeros. So, we will put here two zeros. Okay. Now, here again. 6, 2, 6, the 12. 2, 6, the 12. And at last we have to put the zero. Okay. Now here, 3, 5, the 3, 5, the 15. And at last we will put the zero. And 6, 3, the 18. Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to add these numbers. 1000 plus 120. First, we will add these two numbers. Okay? 0 plus 0, 0. 2 plus 0, 2. 1 plus 0, 1. And after that, 1. So, what is the number we got? 1120. Okay? This is the number that we have got after adding these two numbers. Now we also have to add these two numbers. Okay. So here only I am just going to add this. 150 plus 18. 8 plus 0, 8. 1 plus 5, 6 and 1. So 168. Okay, now again we have got two different numbers. 
and we have to find the product. So what we will do? We will just now add this number. Okay? Because why we have to add this number? Because if we will add 20 plus 3, then it will become 23. So similarly like that, we also have to add these two numbers. Okay? 6 plus 0, 8. 6 plus 2, 8. 1 plus 1, 2. And this one. Because it is at 1000 position. And here you can see this number is of only 3 digits. So we don't have to add this to anyone. So we are just going to write this one as it is. Okay. So this number 1288 is the product of 56 multiplied by 23. Okay. So hope this is also very much clear to you. Just pause this video and write this example also in your maths notebook.